flashing zero gallons fuel low. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? What noise? You know he's nervous about it running out when he goes right to the fuel barrel. He's just sitting in there admiring all the new buttons. Doggo, look at what the boys have been doing. Yeah, it looks It's good. echoing in here. It's the first time that's ever happened. So Morton's gotta come out and rip this wall, literally, totally, like all the tin's gotta come out, all this piping, electrical work, uh, cause when the storm blew this door in, the old shop hit, in the last storm blew the bottom in and the cables took it to the top. Well this time, the bottom held to the building, but it, it did this to the rolling wheels and also obviously crinkled it. This was junk. Uh, it was kind of damaged, but now it's really junk. Big tornado storm blew it in. It actually puffed the walls out on this building. So this wall is actually kinked, kind of where the, the ground posts meet the wall posts. So it's got to come out, they got to reinforce it. I think that door's kink too and now we got a delivery when what how long we been waiting for this since last august six months half a year more than that he's in the grass Brody. his dad around body out way out in the lawn dad is gonna kill him <laughs> oh there goes your cement holy moses buddy <laughs> brody's so happy that he doesn't have to wash it that aggressively it needs to be rinsed <laughs> about it. So this tractor's actually through Ziggler. It got traded off on a fent. So they sold the guy that used to own this a fent. And uh, he called us up last, like I believe August, early August. And then we went and looked at the tractor on our way to Boone, Iowa Farm Show. And they've been waiting for the new fence to show up. So that's why we didn't get it last fall. We were scared we weren't gonna get it for the spring, but here she is. Um, I believe it's a 21 model. Uh, it's farm to farm, so it literally left that guy's farm this morning and is here now. Uh, needs to be washed, serviced, looked over. We'll get into more details. I think it's like 750 hours on it, I think. Are you helping? I'm out. You're tightening. <laughs> well, the other one's tightening too, so I have to put my gloves on. Drive it forward, you can take the chain off. Are you excited for this? This is your new grain cart tractor? No, no, we got, well, this, this hood is damaged, so I don't have to worry about doing that. <laughs> this could work. <laughs> Flashing zero gallons fuel low. <laughs> <laughs> what is that noise? What noise? It sounds like a it's, sprinkler. It's probably the depth system. That's loud. That's that's it's government. definitely coming from the muffler. It's government. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that's the first really nice. 200 feet? Smooth. I I was expecting. It was smooth. 200 feet. Well, I was expecting it. to fall out of the seat coming off the trailer and hardly knew I was off of it. You know he's nervous about it running out when he goes right to the fuel barrel. He's just sitting in there admiring all the new buttons. 
So does this give you flashbacks of what, was that 2020, fall of 2020 when you snapped the track frame in half from being <laughs> reckless? Yeah. Uh, yeah and then that. you got the demo? Well, it wasn't a demo, it was a rental. But that was, that was a 20, 20 or 21. I don't know, this is a 21. How many hours are on the big unit? I believe it's supposed to be like 750. Where does it say the because hours? Because he used it last fall, even though we had said yes to the tractor, but Do I have, obviously the guy needs a tractor. Is there a massage button? I don't think that. Oh, actually, this is weird. Actually, there is something down there. What's that do? Is it doing, is it vibrating? I've got seven gallons now, nine <laughs> gallons. It's going up. Okay, yeah. you, you got AC and heated seat. At the same time? Well, maybe. Um, there's some vibrating button here that I have no idea. It's not doing anything. I don't feel my butt getting massage. <laughs> What's this? I don't know. So it does have the Pro 1200. It is the AFS Connect that we have nothing to connect it to. <laughs> so that's going to be really nice. That was probably your favorite feature of this yes. tractor in the grain cart was the bigger Pro 1200. That, right? that and the better, more options on the joystick. Look at that baby. Mm -hmm. Look at the remotes. Mm -hmm. Shifting. Toggle this. The Bluetooth radio. I can actually hook up to the combine and slow you down and speed you up now. When you're going too slow and I want to combine faster. So I can go out to the night shift sooner. <laughs> oh, it's got a turnaround button. I ain't have to turn anymore. I might have to take that off so I can see out the front window better. <laughs> Even better, 652 hours on it. Ooh, it's got a rear camera. It's just like my Fiat. <laughs> yeah, it is. You know, it's honestly. Got serious radio. This cab is in yeah. a lot better condition than the last one we bought from Ziggler. We should ask Tom about oh, I'm that. Gonna, I'm gonna get the camera right in his face. He hates it so bad. What's that? That's a field. There's no snow on the screen. <laughs> so being we've purchased this a year ago, it was priced really good then, and now it really looks like a good price. Don't tell Tom that, but he don't know I'm saying that until it's already paid for it. So very good deal on this thing. Um, very happy about it. We did not trade anything off. There is a couple of flaws, such as that the track is got into the planter hitch when it had like five hours on it and the guy about cried but so I don't know if we got to put a new track on or just run it he's been running it this tractor is different than our other ones it's got 30 inch belts our others have 36 not ideal comes with a nail pre-installed in the track we like the 36 inch because it keeps mud and debris out of there but it was the right price it is a 580 obviously we'd like a 620 but we're gonna we're gonna tune this thing it can be tuned we looked into that through agro eco power peak Peak solutions is mark the guy that always tunes all of our stuff for us if you want to check him out in the link in the description but we are going to be throwing a tune on this machine and getting it up to 650 horse then it's no different than a, a 620 actually maybe more so not too worried about that. Overall, it's a little damage to the grill and the track. That's the major known issues, but obviously it's pretty, pretty low hour machine. As far as major mechanical issues, there should not be any, but we'll find that out. So the story I was told about the grill was he pulled a planter with this thing and he pulled into some CRP grass along a ditch from my understanding. And there was a tree that had floated up that had never been there before, hidden in the grass, and then it threw the grill. So that's how that happened. And this was just an unfortunate event with the planter hitch. Stuff happens. Tom, this cab is a lot cleaner than the last one. I'm glad. I appreciate that. It's a sunny day. I'm, I'm glad everything is better. <laughs> <laughs> you seem more comfortable on camera the second time around. Getting really good at this. Yep, I'm he's, he's going to start a sales. He was saying that YouTube he was channel. hoping you were coming up here as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Please bring the camera. <laughs> so while we were doing paperwork on that, we got that all done. Now we just had a truck show up here with chemicals from Ag Chem Solutions. We got to do an inventory check on it and uh, somehow get it into that building that's all mud. Setter on the slab there. We got to go through this list to make sure we what we all got and where to put it.
I gotta help. I oh. gotta help. You're gonna be stuck. You're gonna be stuck. <laughs> Give her the beans. That's a mud puddle. Oh no. Frost is coming out. You can see the ground moving when that thing goes. Oh, oh, grease. Truck driver's probably like, what's going on? Oh no! That guy's super nice. Really friendly. Really? Yeah. Well, actually, he even moved it for us. That's normally our job. <laughs> all right, we just did in inventory and all this stuff. So all this came from our main channel sponsor, Egg Chem Solutions. You guys can put an order in if you want. Just mention Larson Farms, um, and you can get 5% off your order if you're a new customer. Free shipping over $5,000, which, as you know, it's easy to hit that number. And uh, $100 gift certificate to Farm Focus, get Larson Farms merch. If you mention our name, go check them out. Um, these are some of the chemicals that we uh, need for black beans, fungicide, um, adjuvants that as we were walking around the building touring it, we're like, yeah, we need some more. Uh, we need that. We need this. So put the order together and here it is. So I think that is most of the chemical for the, the season. Well, that, that finishes it. We've obviously got a lot more in there, but uh, go check them out. And we gotta get that down into the muddy swamp somehow now. Wish me luck, guys. I'm heading in. Not nah, even a problem. Oh, look at our sheds flooding. Oh my gosh, it's all running in here. That's good. That's good. Just what a guy wants to see. So if you can't tell, she's getting full, but, and some seeds come in. We, the dealer didn't bring out the longer day corn just due to fear that it might be a late planting again. So our earlier day stuff is here. We'll see how the spring goes, if we get the 100 day in or not. But trying to not bury the stuff we're gonna need for spring planting, like our triple flex. Got behind me in case I get spun out. Not even a problem. It's soupy. I almost got her. Stuck? Well, it, yeah, I guess I shouldn't say almost got. I made it through pretty good. Is it quitting time yet? <laughs> I think so. Go open that door for me. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be a wrap on today's video. We did pick up this really nice 580. It turns out it is a 2020, not a 2021, which is fine. Um, Nice tractor, just a couple issues, but uh, I'm excited to see how she performs and how we like it. As of right now, we're keeping all the quads, run the season, see if we need them all, if they get used, but never know. I'm excited to be into the new generation and the new cabs, um, but I think that's gonna be the wrap on the video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time.